as we'll just chuck them up with the little bit that came with the Ryobi, right? Get a, we'll get a double test in there. So these are, uh, uh, you know, flat sided here. So once the chucks get a nice bite in there, there's no way for them to slip. So I'll, we'll just go chuck to chuck right here. Make sure I am very curious as to what the results are going to be here. I have to say, I, I don't mind being proven wrong. If I have a bias, I'd like to know about it so I can make those corrections. But I have to wonder if a $100 drill can really compete with a $150, $60 drill. All right, are you ready? Here we go. And three, two, one. Oh man, that Ryobi has got so much flex and it. it feels like it's going to break. Well, they've got, both got some sort of a thermal switch in there that cuts off and so I just keep clicking the trigger to bypass it. Oh, the Ryobi's really twisty. Okay, so let's take a little pressure off there. All right, so let's go to the, the low setting. This is where this is where it usually gets ugly. All right, you ready? So the Milwaukee is overcoming. It has more, a little bit more power. Uh oh. Here comes the smoke, and it's not from the Milwaukee. We got the Ryobi. Let's change directions. We got the Ryobi smoking. We'll change directions again. Back and forth. Oh, the Ryobi, it's not working at all now. It is, it's just. It's just, uh, it's died. It smoked a little bit, and then it died. Is that it for the Ryobi? Is that all that it had? <laughs> That's it. All right, so let's, uh, let's try the second battery, you know, just to give it every possible chance here, right? A fresh battery. It's kind of cheating, but... Back on, let's go for it. Here we go. Change directions. Nope, oh, here comes the smoke. Let's change directions one more time. Oh, lots more smoke coming out. Oh, hear the popping. Oh, is it going to catch on fire? Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's not good. The light's blinking. Oh, the light quit working. Uh-oh. Oh, it died again. Oh, look at the smoke coming out. I don't see how we can go any further when it just it quits. So it just at least the at least the Chinese drills they kept going even though they were smoking and burning. Oh, that's very that's very sad, very unsatisfactory. Well, there, there you have it. The performance of the Ryobi was very unsatisfactory. So I, I, I got, here's the charger. I've got the, both batteries are very, very hot. I put the batteries in there and, oh there, I was getting an error, defective, but it is charging now. So, boy, that just filled the whole shop with this acrid smoke from the, who knows where. Let's try the other battery, see what happens here. Let's charge these up again, uh, both of them. And we'll try it one more time, see if the, uh, the Ryobi will indeed come back to life. And I'm just showing a, a testing mode there. Let's, let's just let this one charge up. At least it was green. All right, guys, we're back at it. 
All three batteries are charged. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. <laughs> the Milwaukee is eating its lunch. <laughs> Let's switch directions here. <laughs> uh oh, it doesn't sound good for the Ryobi. <laughs> it doesn't like the Milwaukee pushing against it. Just, just die already. You know you want to. Oh, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> hear the plastic gear stripping. Oh, hear that? Oh boy. Oh, it's only a matter of time now. Oh. It's just about done. Oh, that, oh. The hands are getting tired. <laughs> oh, there's popping. Oh, it's the sparks. It's, it won't let go though, it just won't quit. Oh, that didn't sound good. All right, so <laughs> what did we learn? Well, it's been, uh, I don't know, it's probably been three minutes or so since I, sh I took the batteries out and the Ryobi is still smoking. It's, uh, the handle's just forming. Goodness, that stinks. The, uh, Milwaukee was just dripping. You could just feel the plastic gears inside stripping out. It was smoking, it was cracking. You saw little sparks and stuff inside of the Ryobi. It, it just got crushed. It just got crushed. Both, you know, both batteries end up running down and I don't think, I don't, I, we don't need to go anymore to see that the Milwaukee is a far better drill. That Milwaukee, now that's, this is its second test. It did the torture test up against a DeWalt and just ate the DeWalt's lunch, ate the Ryobi's lunch and uh, it's still going. So man, that is one uh, fantastically strong, tough, durable, built drill. Hasn't once got hot and it hasn't once smoked. So we might have to put it up against the Makita. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Uh, and we'll uh, put the Milwaukee against Akita, Makita and see who comes out on top. But what did we learn? Well, I think we learned that uh, the Ryobi is not a premium brand, which we knew. Not that it won't work, uh, but uh, certainly can't be compared uh, with the durability and toughness of the Milwaukee. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.